Thank God you are here, Sudar. Hi. Why? What happened? Why are you in a hurry? Your uncle is a guest officer, right? Yes. Can you have these documents attested, please? Pan card, voter ID, electric bill, telephone bill. Why? Why all of this? Proof of my existence. If I want a job, I have to do all of this. Hey, even an application form has been reduced to a single page from three four pages. You don't actually need all this attesting and all. In fact, you don't need any verification from any registered officer. You can self attest it. This is valid, and only this will be sufficient enough. The government has trust on us, and why shouldn't they? After all, we all are responsible citizens. Sure. Yes. Since when my dear friend a lot has been changed and lot more to come <laughs> Are kaka come on we are getting late it's almost half past 8 we have to reach there before 9 come on oh, oh, hurry up bhai. we are getting Coming. late after all this is a government office no one works on time so don't worry those days are gone kaka okay come Are on just a minute oh, come oh, on oh, we are getting late be be come be on be Kaka you don't worry now you will see a lot of improvement <laughs> Government officials come to their office right in time let's go Hmm. Uh, sir, where is Pooja Ma'am's cabin? Okay, thank you. May I come in, ma'am? Namaskar. 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 Please have a seat. Come on, Kaka. Please. So tell me sir how can i help you ma'am he is mr chagallan and uh 3 uh, years back he got his uh, retirement he is getting his pension regularly but uh, okay okay I have forwarded your application to the concerned officer. Within three four days, your work shall be done. Thank you, ma'am. What about uh, verification, ma'am? Oh, that is mandatory, sir. Don't worry. This will not cause any delay in the process, and will work on the information that you have provided. We trust you. And in future, in any case, if there is any discrepancy which is found. then the loss will be yours thank you no no sir please don't do that it is our duty aapke beech pradhan mantri ke roop mein nahi pradhan sevak ke roop mein upasthit ho thank you thank you very much ma'am working on the principle of minimum government maximum governance the present government has taken new initiatives for the officers and employees at both central and state level governments with an innovative and motivational approach to obtain efficient effective accountable ethical responsive and transparent governance as all of us know ever since the present government took over about 2 years ago under the leadership of prime minister shri narendra modi there has been a priority focus on governance and ever since the prime minister gave us the mantra of maximum governance minimum government the department of personal training has been embarking on a number of measures to achieve this objective and the objective of maximum governance to me would imply ease of governance more of accountability more of transparency and above all citizen centricity In the last two years, the DOPT has taken a number of measures which were never heard of earlier, for uh, providing a work-friendly environment 
for the civil servants giving emphasis to the citizen centric administration the department of personnel and trading under the ministry of personnel public grievances and pensions of the indian government has taken a series of path breaking measures to transform the attitudinal change and capacity building considering the pivotal role of training the dopt forms the required policies and also makes suggestions for proper implementation operations and provide best of its cooperation to the organizations agencies institutions of state and central government this year we are holding the national symposium on excellence in training in the last 2 years the emphasis has been to focus on citizen centric administration a shift from colonial administration to citizen centric administration the employees should feel that this is their country and they have to be polite to the citizens they have to work for their interests and the attitude has to be from how not to do work to how to do work the national symposium on excellence in training provides us an annual platform for experience sharing and exposure to global best practices and expertise to build capabilities for trainers training managers and administrators of the central and state training institutes the second national symposium on excellence in training focuses on developing citizen centric attitude for efficient public service delivery this forum provides an opportunity for continuous networking between trainers experts and training institutions A glimpse of major initiatives by DOPT. Employ welfare programs, yoga, blood donation, national workshop on leadership skills, induction training program, training of trainers workshop. mid career training program national workshop on ethics 